All right, let's go ahead open and stay. All right, beautiful day again, man. Thank the good Lord for that. We just had tremendous weather all through camp, which is just a real blessing. And, uh, you know, the good Lord loves the Eagles. We all know that. Great day today. A lot of, lot of great uh, situational kickoff return work. Uh, you know, got some really good third down work, some fringe third downs where it's on the edge of third and short, third and medium, edge of third and medium, third and long, and then some third and extra long work for the first time. Just the thought process of that with our defensive kids, you know, and uh, thought thought we were a little little slow early, you know, coming off a physical day on Tuesday. And I thought Des Baker really got us going, man. He is a hitter. And uh, boy, he laid a lick and inside drill that woke the whole stadium up. Probably woke some of these people, probably woke people up that live behind fat boys and uh, and uh, all that over there up. So uh, after that, you know, it was a good solid day. Thought we took a lot of step forward, got a lot of reps, you know, for our developmental guys again. And, uh, you know, I think we're just we're practicing better and cleaner. It looks like real football. It looks like what it's supposed to look, you know, more so than probably, you know, at any time. And it should, you know, it should with the way we recruited. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll lift and meet tomorrow. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll do some situations again on Friday. And then we'll, we'll scrimmage for a long time on Saturday. You know, so with that, I'll open it up. Any more takeaways from – I can dissect that film from yesterday from those live periods? Yeah, you know, I thought defensively we had ten guys doing what they're supposed to do in one night, and it happened a bunch. It was a great learning and teachable film for all of our guys. You know, we had some misalignments on the D-line a few times, especially some short yardage stuff that would have gapped us up and made us better. Uh, we had some secondary fits where we just didn't get to our landmarks. And then we just had some really good football play by our offense at times, too. You know, the touchdown from Ronald Maker to Kyron Heath right there, I mean, geez, that's, that's a big boy play, you know, by two really good players. And, uh, you know, I thought Dreek did really good in the low red. Uh, just, you know, we made some plays offensively, and our offense is really executing at a high level right now. Our O-line's playing at a high level. Defensively, I thought we took a step forward today with that, of getting 11 people on the same page. And uh, I think we got a chance to be a really good defense. Coach Big Nail's doing a good job. Uh, our offense is throwing a lot at them. And uh, I thought it was a step forward with that, you know, today. On the defensive side of the ball, you know, people are always talking about, you know, the, the sexiness of being a, a, a jam up, you know, man on man corner type of thing. Kind of speak to the nuance of having to learn to, to be good in those zone drops, to have instincts. Yeah. In that. Well, when you look at teams that are winning big in college football right now, you know, when you look at Michigan last year, defensively, you know, uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of, lot of zone, a lot of eyes on the quarterback, a lot of chasing the football, uh, you know, a lot of rallying to the football. That's kind of where Coach Big Nail's tree comes from. He comes from that Mike Ilko at A and M tree, who had a great job at Duke and Notre Dame, and Mike Hankwitz at Northwestern when Northwestern was winning their side of the Big Ten. Uh, you know, to, to me. You know, in group of five, there's very few really great quarterbacks. You know, so if you can make on offense snapping again, you know, it's really, really hard for a group of five offense to go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Play. It's hard for an NFL offense to do that, but especially a group of five quarterbacks. So, you know, I think, and with the way we've recruited with our D-line, I think if we can continue to make them snap it again and execute one of them D-line on a win, all of a sudden you get to second and 12, then you get third and nine, and then they're putt. Or you get a takeaway or a turnover which is something we're really focusing on is putting ourselves in a position to get more of those, and you've seen that throughout fall camp. Um, you know, fall camp's coming to, to a close. What's one area of your team where you're just wanting to see improvement just after these two weeks? Uh, you know, Dima, I think, I think, the, I think you know, wanting to see us get 11, 11 people doing what they're supposed to do defensively with everything our offense is showing them. I think that, and I think we want to continue to, to get sound in the kicking game. That's been a big point of emphasis, and we're headed that way. And then continue to build depth, right? We know it's a long season. We've been through that here. Continue to take some of these new recruits that are really talented, like Avery Sledge and Khalid Moore and Josh Bledsoe, and building depth where they're adding value in the kicking game and also adding minutes, uh, you know, away from some of our older guys uh, as we go through the season and then continue to build towards that. On the defense, do, yeah. do you feel like Facing this offense in practice is one of the more complex offenses they'll face in the Sun Belt. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we, we, we put a lot at them, yeah. you know, from, from types of plays to, to variances of looks to pre-snap movements and motions. Uh, extremely difficult to match up and be hatted up. 
everywhere. So, uh, and we try to do that. You know, when we recruit, we tell kids we're going to run NFL schemes on both sides, which we do because uh, we want to we want to test them. We want the games to be easier than the practices, and uh, I certainly think that's the case with, with both sides of the ball. This offense kind of hit on running something, having success, some success with it, and then making it look the same and, it, and running it different, how yeah. that affects. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, me and Chip talk about that all the time and have for years and years, sequencing, play call sequencing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, the ability to, to do something subtly different that looks a lot the same and the ability to set things up. You know, he's proven to be great at that throughout his whole career. And I think our fans will enjoy watching that this year.